Today we're going to start looking at synthesizers in Linux. There's plenty of music synthesizers, and today I'm going to show you one called ZYN Add Sub FX. It is a, a very good synthesizer, one of my favorites. It's got a lot of presets and a lot of things you can customize. Today we're just going to look at some of the preset stuff. So let's get started. Uh, start up your Jack D as I showed you in a previous video. Uh, you don't need Jack D to be running. Uh, 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 ZYN add sub effect, but once you start getting into MIDI editing and linking stuff together, you're you're gonna need it. Uh, plus, if you want to use your MIDI keyboard, it makes things a lot easier. So go ahead and just get in the habit of starting that up. Now we're gonna look for ZYN add sub effect, and when you open it, the first time you open it, it's gonna ask you if you want to go into the beginner or the advanced. Uh, interface. I'll show you the beginner, but I usually use the advanced. The beginner just gives you one window. You got your little keyboard here with a virtual keyboard. Turn that up a little bit so you can hear it. And a bunch of little presets as far as audio. You can change the octave of the keyboard. And you can choose instruments by saying show instrument bank. And you can choose from a category of different uh, instruments. We'll go to guitar and choose short guitar here. And, and you can choose different type of guitar. That's the basic interface. I'm going to switch. You can switch at any time to uh, the advanced interface which gives you this window, gives you a few more options, and the virtual keyboard is in a separate window when you click on the VK right here to open it. You also have a few more options. Right here, I'm playing with the mouse. You can also play by pressing keys on your QWERTY keyboard. And over here you have a little uh, uh, pitch bender bar. And you can reset that by clicking the R right here. Now, uh, so we're looking at the basics. We've got the keyboard. Also, you can also open up the show instrument bank here. And like I said, there's plenty of presets for different instruments. But let me show you how to quickly hook your MIDI keyboard up to it. I'm using a MIDI keyboard. It's an Oxygen 681. I think no, just an Oxygen 61 is the keyboard I'm using. It's a it's a uh, USB MIDI keyboard. Works by default when you plug in a Linux. No drivers or anything to install. And in the uh, Jack connection kit here, if you click on the connections, it brings up your connection window, which uh, right here shows uh, over here are my MIDI devices. I got my sound card here. And over here you'll see uh, things you can plug it into. Right now, uh, the only application I have open is the ZYN add sub effect. So I can click my USB keyboard here, my Oxygen 61, and I can click on a ZYN add sub effect and I can connect. Now, I'm playing on my MIDI keyboard. And everything works, so I can uh, use my, my pitch bender bar on my keyboard. So that's the basics of using ZYN add sub effect. I'll get a little more into it uh, in later videos, uh, but that's how you use it using your QWERTY keyboard, mouse, or MIDI keyboard connecting through Jack D. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and there's more to come soon.